Hello, welcome to Focus Fire with Lotsons and our priority target this week, week number one, the first ever show here is going to be with none other than Team Trash's support master, Sephiel. Thank you for joining me today, sir. How are you doing? I'm uh, I good, I think. <laughs> good, you think? Well, mm -hmm. if you don't know, who does? That's the, the first question, I guess, here. That's all someone else. <laughs> Absolutely. So how this is going to work, ladies and gentlemen, is Sephiel here is in the hot seat. We're going to focus fire all of our interesting little questions, and we're going to try to get to know uh, Sephiel on a more personal level here to kind of understand uh, where he comes from, what he's all about. So this is going to be fun. I think it's going to be really cool. I guess very first thing to do here is start off with where does the name Sephiel actually come from? Uh, oh, straight into complications, eh? Um, well, a few years ago, I was making a character for this game called Raider Z. Not sure if you've heard of it. I have not. What's what's that game about? It was pretty much like an MMO, but like no tab targeting combat. It was all free. Okay. But That's yeah, uh, I'll, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to make a proper fantasy name for all of my MMO characters because I started playing MMOs a bit. And I always chose to be the healer priest, healer slash priest in my gaming groups because it's just the role I enjoyed all the time. You were everybody's favorite player because nobody usually wants to be that support class. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I just enjoy the role. So okay. I just... I got my real name, uh, Stephen, and then I played around with the letters a bit and added in the word heal, you know, healing. Sure. And together, I, I just got Saphil, and it just stuck. Well, it's a very catchy name, no doubt about that. Um, now, speaking of, you know, the support class, I mean, I like to kind of focus on this for a second here. Has that always been something that you've done in all of your... Uh, I guess multiplayer gaming life is do that support role? Yeah, I've just always been the person. Like, if I ever go into a game with a group of people, nobody ever wants to support, and I don't know why. And I enjoy it, so it's always me. Yeah, that's why I say you're probably the most popular guy in any one of your groups, because in my experience, the same is nobody really wants to play that support. They want to be that damage dealer, or that tank, or frontliner, or whatever. So... Moving on here, going towards Atlas Reactor. Now, when you first downloaded and played Atlas Reactor, did you ever imagine that you'd be on an undefeated, at the time of this recording at least, team in the prep phase league, the competitive league for Atlas at this point? No. Like, I didn't even consider that I'd join the community, let alone any of the tournaments. Like, I really did something out of character when I first decided to join the Discord way back when it, the Discord was invite only. That like yeah. was the biggest gamble I ever did. What do you mean by I, gamble? It's because usually I stick to my own little social group. I don't ever socialize. Okay. And fair. so when I was in this game that I knew nobody else about because none of my friends wanted to know about it, I just... There was an invite to the Discord. I took a gamble because I wanted to... Just play with other people, I guess. And I think I remember entering the chat room for the first time and somebody asking me why I didn't talk much. And I just replied with, I'm too shy. Okay, so, I mean, a long way from there are you now. Coming on here, showing your face to uh, to all your fans there. So um, thank you again for coming on and agreeing to do this. It, it must be difficult. So uh, let's let's continue here. Uh, on that same route, you know, you, you're playing Atlas Reactor now. You've joined the Discord server finally, uh, uncharacteristically. How did Team Trash actually come about? You guys have been together for a long time, as far as Atlas Reactor is concerned. Did you just meet in game and hit it off, or what happened there? I mean, it, it's a bit complicated, but like. Wally. And I were on different teams in the first Alpha tournament. Right. And Avaki, Kranor, 
and some major weren't even in the tournament that early on. Yeah. Like, Wally was rocking Nerf Asana, and I was on Team Blank. <laughs> and then after that, in the second tournament, Avaki formed Trash with some major Karina and Bazaki. Yeah. Later on, they asked me to join because Bazaki had to leave. And then when the PPL was starting up, Wally asked to join himself. So how did it come about that they asked you to take the place of their leaving player? Did they uh, Had they seen you in the previous tournament and said, this guy's pretty good? Or did you talk to them in the Discord, perhaps, before then? Uh, I mean, yeah, I did play quite a few games with Avaki and Samaja and Crano. Okay, so that makes that. it pretty easier, for sure. Yeah. Uh, mm. Where are you actually from? Uh, I'm from England, South London, to be more precise. All right. So, Sephil, how did you first actually find out about Atlas Reactor? I mean, last August, I received an email about it. And I really it looked really interesting to me. And so, in that email, it allowed me to sign up for the Alpha. And I got an email telling me I got into the Alpha halfway through September. And, well, the rest is history. Right, right. Absolutely. I think uh, mine would be much the same story there. What is your favorite freelancer and why? I think right now my favorite freelancer has to be Dr. Finn. I enjoy Aurora's kit more, but her character is kind of boring to me. Dr. Finn isn't the best, but he kind of makes me laugh. His kit is pretty <laughs> enjoyable and a little less safe with the double bubble gone. But he is still the ultimate pun lord, and I appreciate that. Absolutely. It took a lot of thought to process, because I am terrible at puns, I, I will admit. So <laughs> whoever thought those up as a, uh, a very good... I don't know, maybe they talked to Freak from League of Legends to get those. Who knows? <laughs> the Who pun knows? master. Um, next up, I think we want to talk about, really, when did you start gaming, and what game was it that got you into it? I think... My earliest memory of just playing games as much as I could was when I received a PS2 for my birthmas and a big collection of games to go with it. Your birthmas? Christmas is that, is birthday. That, is that birthday Christmas combination? Yeah. yeah. So you're one of those December babies that yeah, gets screwed no, no, no. every time birthday comes around, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I, out of the games I got, the one I liked the most was uh, Jack and Dexter. Yeah, I, remember I remember that playing it for as long as I could stay awake, then leaving the console on all night because I didn't have a memory card to save my <laughs> progress. I did that, I think, for like a week or two. Just up, play, leave it on all night, up, play. <laughs> that is some serious hardcore gaming, sir. Now, yep. if you had to choose one thing, person, place, thing whatever, to be your most favorite of all time in the holy world, what, who would it be? Um, this is kind of a hard question, because I don't really have one thing I really like. But I guess I would have to just say my lucky scarf, because I've had it for quite a while, and I usually wear it when I'm about to do an important game or something. Okay. Do you have that there to show us? Yeah, it's around my neck. Oh, I can barely see it. Okay. It is around... Well, then this is going to go swimmingly, as Dr. Finn would say, since we got the lucky scarf, so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, taking a step back, I guess, into your more uh, personal life, what other hobbies do you have other than gaming? What do you like to do? Um, Before I did a lot of Atlas Reactor, I tended to dabble a lot with game development. Okay. I don't have anything to show for it, so don't ask. But like, <laughs> I enjoy a lot of the discussions and issues that come from it. Is, uh, any particular uh, field of game development that you focused on, like coding, or did you do graphics? What did you try to do? Uh, I did a bit of coding, and a lot of... It's, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Now, 
going back to what we were talking about before, now with Team Trash, again at the time of this recording, being completely undefeated, we're now in Season 2 of the Prep Phase League, heading into that second tournament pretty soon. It's been a long time since you guys have been defeated. Uh, with all the attention that you and your team get now because of this, is it really difficult to remain focused and not get complacent? Yeah, like, there are people who know Seville, and I've never seen them before, and I think it's super weird, but in a good way. Just need to catch up on that. I feel like some of us get overconfident, though, because of it, but I don't think it's causing us many issues. Yeah, it, it, and obviously this isn't about your team, this is about you, so is there any moment... Um, in the last couple of seasons in the PPL, I know you guys did a lot of stuff pre-PPL together as well, but at this point in your, in your, I guess, Atlas Reactor life, uh, are you feeling like there's no challenge coming your way, or are you feeling like you guys really still need to improve? I feel like we still have a lot to improve on. Like, the teams are getting harder every day. And that's really cool to see. But I do get worried. <laughs> it's like we've been making more mistakes, and it's just bad from us. All right, so what do you think, Sefiel, is your most memorable moment so far for you personally in competitive play, specifically within Atlas Reactor? I think, I'm not sure if it counts, but I think it was in the game versus Final Boss, where we got sure. that amazing... Dr. Finn and Grey Alt combo on three of them. <laughs> I remember like, that very specifically. That was great. That was amazing for me. And I'll never get a better taunt anytime soon. <laughs> so for you guys at home, if you missed that, uh, probably going to be on the Atlas Reactor YouTube channel. At some point, it's Trash versus Final Boss. It was like an in-between, uh, in-between the two PPL seasons, one and two. Just kind of like a, a scrimmage, basically. Best of three, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. Right. And Team Trash won. They they won two in a row, so they're still undefeated even in that. But the play that Sefiel is, re is referring to here is they had a, a couple of the, the dev team is the final boss, by the way, for Atlas Reactor. Uh, they had a few of the devs clumped up in the middle. Avaki on Gray through the Voltaic Cage, the Gray's ultimate on top of them, and then Sephil on Dr. Finn through his ultimate and threw them through the Voltaic Cage walls and just annihilated their team. So that was an amazing play. Very funny to watch, and I'm sure the devs, uh, I'm sure the devs got a chuckle out of it at, at the very least. I think the best part of it was, was that the turn before, we made sure that they didn't have any vision of us with Celeste smoke bombs. Oh. It was it's beautiful. So like setup. a nice little sequence of events leading up to that. Very, very nice. Yeah. So very memorable, very cool uh, memory. I had forgotten all about that, so thanks for reminding me as well. Um, now, this season, there's a huge prize pool, $2,500 on the line total. Seventeen or uh, $1,200 of that goes to the winner of this season's tournament. This is from Tron Worlds as well. Uh, have you given much thought to that sp yourself, or do you just kind of take it one game at a time? I mean, when we first joined the PPL, we did it out of fun. We didn't know there was going to be a cash prize. Like, I don't think anybody did. No, not even the PPL people did. No, so it's like, we originally joined for fun, and I'm pretty sure we're still in it, because we really enjoy the game. But I'd be lying if I said the money isn't helping. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be on your mind. It, it's it, in some yeah. capacity, it's it's there. So why not think about it? Have that be a goal. So I, I totally mean, understand that. One thing is that money brings in a lot of new teams, and so more teams means more fun for us. Absolutely, and more fun for the viewers watching at home. More opportunities for the players to get involved. But again, we want to focus in on you. So let's move back to uh, to the questions here we have prepared. So as a seasoned veteran of Atlas Reactor, I think we can say that at this point pretty confidently about you. What advice would you give to someone looking at Atlas Reactor for the first time, perhaps downloading the game right now? 
I think I would say play with friends in voice or just find a group to play with friends in voice because it's just fun. You want to enjoy the game and you get to learn, you, you just learn team communication as well at the same time. And it's really, really hard, in my opinion, to get that communication going without the voice chat involved. Yeah, but you only get 20 seconds. It's just better in voice. Right, right. So check out the Discord, guys. That is the, the best advice. I agree with that completely. Our final question, Safil. Our final question. It's over almost. <laughs> you can be uh, happy now. <laughs> what do you want to say, say to the audience watching or the fans of maybe Team Trash in general before we wrap everything up today? Um, I guess I just want to say have fun because that's what it's all about at the end. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us, Sephil and I. Uh, Sephil, very special thanks to you for coming on the show and being brave and uh, going, being uncharacteristic once again, coming on here and showing your face to the world. We very much appreciate it, I'm sure. Everybody at home does as well. And we're going to kind of go out to a little bit of music. So if you want to do a little dance groove with me, that's what we're going to be doing here. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. Lothan's here signing out for this episode. A very special thanks once again to Sephiel for sticking in there. Hopefully we can turn him into one of those social butterflies before it's too late. But I'm going to be trying to release one of these episodes once per week, if possible. So keep an eye out for that. I can't link my YouTube in here because it's a really long link. I don't have one of those special links just yet, but uh, check it out with the other links on the left side of the screen there. Also, send a tweet out to Sephiel. Let him know what you thought about the video. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And of course, we'll see you next time.